I'm Dean Safola, and this is the Azure Academy. Thanks for joining us today at the Azure Academy. And today we're going to have a video that's slightly different. I've had some requests for information about the uh, the YouTube channel uh, in general, as well as uh, how you can get in touch with me. So I thought we'd walk through some of that. And then I've got uh, a little something extra that we'll have in the video as well. So stay tuned later in the video for that. So let's go over to our YouTube channel. So first, I want to start out by saying a big thank you to everyone who has watched our videos and subscribed and commented. And I want to point out some other things here that will help you make your learning experience a little more full. First of all, some navigation tips around our videos. So we try to keep our formats the same here on each video so you know what to expect. And I'll just point out some of those quickly and then we'll get to our topic. So first of all, inside the video of every once in a while, I'll make a comment about some Thing, and I'll mention a card. Now in YouTube, the cards are this little flyout that's up here, and I'll put up there some videos that are related to this topic, or I'll call out something that's from a past video, and you can click on the cards here, and that will then play some other video or some other playlist or something else related to that topic for more information. Uh, something else I'll point out is down here in the bottom right, we have our logo, and there is a subscribe button, and if if you haven't clicked subscribe yet, please do so. It really does help us out by showing the YouTube algorithm that people are interested in our channel. So it helps to get us promoted on the searches and, and all of that. And let me scroll down a little here. So underneath our videos, we have the description area. Then below that is comments. So starting off at the top here in the description area, we have hashtags now on all of our videos. And first, we'll always have the Azure Academy and then something of the broader topic and then specific topics would be kind of how we're organizing that. And so give me some comments uh, if you find something better that you think would work, and we'll be happy to try that. So when you click on any of these links, and I'll just open them in separate tabs, you can see that this is basically doing a YouTube search. So you can search by hashtag. And so here's all the videos for the Azure Academy. And then here's the ones related to our Windows Virtual Desktop series. But you don't have to just click on the links. You can do a search yourself for something like, say, the Cloud Adoption Framework. And there's the the framework and our videos on the new Azure migrate. So you can do that uh, through any kind of topic through through YouTube supports hashtag searches. Now, assuming somebody is using that hashtag, you will find them. And underneath that, we have the title of our particular video, how many views it has, a link to our channel, and then underneath that some links and then show more. So we'll open up show more. We have a short description of what this video is about and then social media links. And so many people have asked me for where's my Twitter, where's my LinkedIn. And so they're here. I've also got a link to Patreon. You can click over there and support us if you like. And then I do have also a website, but the website is really just a placeholder. Everything that's happening really happens here on our YouTube channel. And then underneath that we have uh, sometimes there will be something related to this video, like I needed to put something out on my GitHub. So I put a link out to that. We have some shortcuts to get to different segments of the video. So I try to keep these topical in the video so that you can jump around to points in the video that you're going to be interested in. So if you wanted to, in this case, do something like, where do I deploy remote applications? Well, you could click right on that time index and it'll bring you right over to 1615 in this particular video. And then you can see whatever was going on there. And then you can go back to 140 and look at the documentation requirements. Just some quick ways to help you navigate around. Then, of course, is the comment section. And we definitely read all of the comments that come in and I try to respond to every one of them. Please uh, do give us comments. It's the way that you can communicate back with us and, and let us know what you think about the particular videos or if there's something else that you're interested in and we'll be happy to make that video for you. And then over here on the right side, we've got that thumbs up button. Definitely click that. That's great. Uh, if the video was terrible, then I'm very sorry. Give me some comments about what you didn't like so that we can improve. And then there is the subscribe button button. So if you have not clicked that, please do. And then that definitely helps us out. Again, it raises our cred with the YouTube algorithm. And then there is the notification icon. Now the notification bell is how you can get emailed when a new video comes out. If you want that, then click that button and then you'll get an email every time our video 
videos come out, which is approximately once a week. There are some times where we'll have uh, an extra video in a week, like when Azure Migrate launched, we did two videos that week. Uh, additionally, there is the YouTube settings, and this is where you can change the speeds on the YouTube video, so you can watch it slower or watch it faster, depending on uh, how fast you think I talk. Uh, the quality setting. Now, I record all of my videos at 1080p 60 frames. So if you are seeing some glitching because you're using uh, some lower quality settings, then I'd recommend you go to 1080p at 60 frames. And then, of course, uh, everything should look perfect. And then there's also the share button here where you can then copy the links for the video and send that out through other social media. Please do share our videos. And uh, again, we do everything here on YouTube versus some other platform because we're trying to help out the community. And then uh, so let's jump over to our main channel. This is the home page. And on the home page, you'll see our introduction video. You can find all of our videos under the videos tab. And then there are the playlists. Now the playlists are kind of where I would I would sort of focus as learning paths. So we're working on some new video series and let me show you what we're doing. So I usually put polls and questions here in the community link. So feel free to browse that and answer those questions. Another way you can communicate back with us and then some other channel links that I watch and that I'm interested in. So you can certainly learn more there as well. And then the about tab, which tells you uh, a little bit about why we started our channel. And then of course you can click here to view our email address or get to the Azure portal or Azure documentation, which are also linked at the very top. That's enough about navigating around the channel. And now let me show you something else. And actually I'll use a, a different browser for this. So this link will be uh, in the video description area. So again, that's all right, right about in this area of uh, this video. And this link will allow you to download Azure portal application. Okay, so what in the world is this? This is where we can download and run the Azure portal as an app without the need of a browser. So let's download this. Okay, now I'm using here the new edge browser and I'm using that for two reasons one because it's the new edge browser and I think it's pretty cool uh, aside from that I think performance wise the new edge is great now we've downloaded our app so let's open that and the install just happens right away and then we are presented with a sign in so let's do that so now we're signed into the Azure portal and this is all running as an app. Everything is totally the same here, including the cloud shell. Okay, so everything runs identically as it does inside the Azure portal itself. You can download this app and you can run this and this is free of charge. Anybody can download it, anybody can use it, but there is another way to do it if you're using the new Edge browser. So inside Edge here, I'm gonna go to the Azure portal all right, and then if I go to the ellipse in the top corner here and go to apps, I can install this site as an app. So if I click that, I need to give it a name. And now I'm running it as an app outside of the browser, but it'll install a shortcut on your desktop. Okay, so we've got both of them running now. In fact, I'm logged in with two different identities, so you could do that as well. And again, it's just another way to get to the portal and you don't need a browser running to be able to do this. So I could even snap them and run both of them next to each other. And then I can throw in a browser for good measure. So now I've got three different identities logged in the Azure portal app through the Edge browser integrated app, as well as a straight browser running in whatever else you wanna be uh, running in. The point is that we're trying to make things far more accessible to everybody. Just another way for you to get to the portal. So I hope you've enjoyed this very quick look at this cool new feature of the Azure portal app, as well as our explanation explanation or how to navigate around the YouTube channel. So please subscribe to the Azure Academy and that helps us to keep making videos for you and click that like button if you liked uh, the Azure portal app and give me some comments down below of things that you're interested in so that we can make uh, content that you're looking for so we can help you out further. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you in the next video. Happy learning.